Hello, welcome to Cosmos and our demonstration on how to easily connect your Shopify integration with your Lightspeed point of sale. Cosmos Asus connects your shops, restaurants, bars, retail stores to accounting, point of sale, ERP, CRM, and marketplaces. Within minutes, you can connect. It's easy with these. After you've created your trial account for Cosmos eSync, log into your eSync dashboard. Notice the message you haven't created any actions yet. Actions are the operations you like Cosmos eSync to support. These include creating products, inventory only, matrices, and orders. Let's create an action. Next, click on Shopify, grant access screen, give your account a Shopify name. Click Next. If you click Shopify again, you'll see your account was created. Click Continue. Now click your point of sale. Lightspeed, grant access, store name, Next, sign into your store and authorize the application. Now click on your logos to add your actions. We're going to start with send standard items first. Continue, hit save. You will need to configure actions in order to send them to a specific location, user, and so forth. Let's configure this action. Click on the question marks to learn what fits in those fields. You can set a timestamp for yesterday. Shop ID, if you have one location, it's most likely one. What SKU do you want to send? You can choose System SKU, Custom SKU, or Manufacturer SKU. In this test, we will go system speed. Let's go back to the dashboard. Now we need to create a task and add our action into it. Only add one action per task in this release. Give your task a name. Create scanner products and hit save. You can turn your schedule on if you're not in trial and run every five minutes or every hour, or you can just hit run. Let's go to Shopify, see if we have any product. We have none. Let's go to Lightspeed and make an update. So I'll take this Adidas soccer ball, $999. Hit save. We go by timestamp from the last time eSync has run. If you ran it every five minutes, we will only grab the products that were touched within that five minute period. Great standard products. Let's hit run on demand. And now let's log into Shopify and hit refresh. Now I see our new products with images and the price. For ideas, the soccer ball is now set at 999. You will notice that the inventory is all sent up with zero. You will have to run the inventory only actions next to update inventory. This is because Shopify has launched locations. With locations, you have to assign the inventory to the proper locations from your point of sale and from your Shopify store. Let's do that next. Create action. Shopify. Lightspeed, inventory only, standard. Empty levels for standard action. We're adding this action to sync our inventory levels next. This has to be configured next. To configure it, please follow instructions with the question marks. We're going to go back a couple days. The shop ID is located at this example. Here we're going to put location one. System SKU, we're going to hit save. Our Shopify location, please follow this example. Your Shopify account, port slash admin, locations, and JSON.
we are going to assign our Portland store, which is our location one. Location one, ID, Portland Warehouse. Hit save. Back to dashboard. Create task. Add action. Entry levels for standard. Give a friendly name. And hit save. These things will go by timestamp for your inventory only actions, which is separate from your timestamp for creating products. If we go into Lightspeed, if we log into Lightspeed, you can see on today's date we have inventory one, which means there's a new item updated and we can update this product now. Now let's run easy. Let's go into Shopify, hit refresh. And now you'll see a couple of our products were updated. Let's check out the AirPods. If we show inventory, there is no inventory in our Portland store. Let's add inventory. Yeah. Now let's run async. Hit refresh. Inventory is now 10. That's it. It's easy with async. We have a 14 day free trial. Sign up anytime. If you have any questions, please contact us anytime.